Every knock, every swing, every beam raised on this field moves Rapula closer to a new era of clean energy. The Mansa solar plant is taking shape with a clear goal to cushion energy challenges in Rapula province and support national supply. Speaking during an inspection, Zesco Managing Director Justin Longo said the project reflects the company's commitment to a reliable and modern energy mix. This technology is a game changer. I mean, you can already see, we started this project in February, so we need to roll out this initiative, not only here. If you go to southern province today, there's a lot of activity tapping into the God-given core. Why shouldn't we tap on all these uh, resources and uh, uh, sort out our uh, electricity uh, crisis or electricity issues? Despite visible progress, the project team is pushing hard to meet the December completion target. See, we should have been commissioning in December, but you've seen we have a few challenges on uh, the evacuation, uh, meaning uh, the line that connects the plant to the grid. Uh, there's been a few hiccups, a few delays here, to the extent that as of December we should be able to, uh, to evacuate up to about 14 megawatts. Uh, and uh, by uh, March, April we should be able to uh, evacuate a full complement. Local engagement remains a cornerstone of this development. People of Mansa, people of Luapula must safeguard this equipment, must safeguard this solar plant so that it's not vandalized. Vandalism um, is an enemy to development. From metal frames to sun red modules, the plant brings Luapula closer to a reliable and sustainable power. Over 100,000 by 615 watts of solar panels have been erected at this plant to supply an additional 50 megawatts of electricity into the national grid. Mark Fasson Mokuka, ZNBC News, Mansa, Wapula Province.